Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh Basham, Al Shai Basham. Um, uh, Shalom to the hopefully elect out there, starting with the 144,000. <clears throat> I'm going to um, entitle this video Countries with the Long, with long Range Missiles. These are, these are countries that possess long, long range missiles, which are also called ICBM uh, missiles. ICBM stands for acronym for intercontinental from one continent to the other, ballistic missiles. <clears throat> so we've been teaching, you know, according to Bible prophecy, that some of the main countries that will shoot, well, the main country that will shoot um, ICBM missiles in the form of uh, uh, hypersonic missiles and other various names, Satan 1, Satan 2, that will shoot uh, missiles, intercontinental miss missiles on um, Babylon the Great, which is uh, the US, United States of America. So, so I said, let me I put this in, countries with long range missiles, and there's only a few countries that have these missiles. The United States, Russia, China. So we believe that, see these missiles are built, when you go to Isaiah 54, matter of fact, let me go to that right quick. Mm. Isaiah 54. Uh, 16, I believe. Behold, I have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. The modern day instrument is an ICBM missile, intercontinental ballistic missile. And I have created the waster to destroy. The waster Rep, um, are the missiles in um, Isaiah chapter 34 the most high says my sword shall be bathed in heaven and that sword represents his missiles these are his missiles he gave this man the Germans the uh, tribe of Timon the technology to uh, build these missiles now I'm going to go to uh, NLT let's see what it says in the NLT I have created the blacksmith who fans the coals beneath the, the forge and maketh the weapons of destruction. <laughs> and maketh the weapons of destruction. What are the, the weapons of destruction? The ICBM missiles, the intercontinent intercontinental ballistic missiles. And I have created the armies. The armies, remember, the Most High's armies, he's the Lord of hosts, the word host, goes back to the Hebrew word, which means armies. One of his armies is the mechanized army, which are the missiles. Though the, they're, 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 they're not the Russians' missiles. They're not China's missiles. They're the Most High's missiles. Let me read that again. I, I have created the blacksmith, the modern-day blacksmith, is the scientist who fans the coals beneath the forge. The modern fans, um, fans of the coals beneath the forge are their lab laboratories. Laboratories. And maketh, produces the weapons of destruction. The weapons of destruction are the ICBM missiles. And I have created the armies which are what? The weapons of destruction, Joel 2. Uh, Joel uh, 3, verse 9 on down. The armies that destroy. Destroy what? This place. Speaks about the whole land being destroyed, right? Let's go to Isaiah 13. I'm still in the NLT. I'll go right to uh, I'll 
I'll start the third verse. I, Yahweh, have dedicated these soldiers. The soldiers are talking about the armies, but it's but these soldiers are talking about the missiles. So the Most High calls these missiles soldiers for this task, which are the missiles. Yes, I have called mighty warriors to express my anger. So you're gonna have the different militaries, and um, the warriors are also the missiles. That's why in Joel 2, they describe them as like uh, troops in order. I, Yahweh, have dedicated these soldiers for this task. Yes, I have called mighty warriors to express my anger. And they will rejoice when I am exalted. Who's going to rejoice? We are. That's in Revelation 18. Hear the noise uh, on the mountains. Mountains represent governments. Listen, as the vast armies march, what armies are going to march? These missiles. They're going to march in, in through the sky. It is the, it is the noise because it's going to make a great noise. Apostle Peter said that. The heavens shall melt away. Um, it speaks about in, with great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. It is, it is the noise and shouting of many nations, the Lord of heaven's armies, the Lord of heaven armies, one of the armies of the most high, are the missiles, has called this army together. Right, through the German scientists. They come from distant countries, Russia, China, the UK, France. Because remember, the NATO nations that possess these Long-range missiles are going to shoot these missiles on Babylon the Great. From beyond, the farthest horizon. That's talking about describing the missiles, the ICBMs. They are Yahweh's weapons to carry out his anger. With them, he will destroy the whole land. The whole land is what land? That's that one continent. Well, actually... Canada is, is connected to America so that, you know, you got a, a border between Canada and um, the U.S. So I don't know how the angel is going to do that where it doesn't touch not one part of uh, Canada, but it will utterly destroy every square inch of America. Read that again, fifth verse. They, the missiles, the ICBMs, come from distant countries. From beyond the far, the farthest uh, horizon, horizon. They are Yahweh's weapons to carry out His anger. With them, He will destroy the whole land. Scream in terror, for the day of Yahweh has arrived. The day of Yahweh is when these missiles are shot. So, what's going to happen before that? What has to happen before that? What do we here at Great Millstone always talk about? We talk about the chipping. Now, I was listening earlier at a Sartnet. He did a thing uh, for about a good four or five hours. So I caught part of it. I caught maybe the last hour, hour and a half or so. And all the different people that called, there were some people that were happy that, you know, Polite got locked up. Others are saying, well, they set him up. We don't believe he did that. And then he, hey, you got Sarnetta telling him that he, he, he said he was guilty. So how the hell did they set him up? Oh, just say that you did it. No, I've been in the system. When you look, when you guilty, when when you know they got it, got you, you gotta you gotta um take a plea, because you, because you're gonna it's called if you if if you take a plea, you're gonna get this this amount of years. If you go to if you go to trial and you blow, they call it blow. If you blow trial, you get these amount of years. You might get triple or quadruple the years. So you know you did it. So what you do, you take the less years. Now, if you didn't do it, you don't fucking cop a plea. I've been in the system. I ain't never cop. I ain't never fucking cop the plea until they brought it down to nothing. No jail time. I remember we. It was myself, Apostle uh, Gabar, Apostle Ricard, Apostle Rhyme Lob. Although it was Apostle uh, 
Ricard's fault that we got hemmed up. He remember, he'll tell you. Anyway, they came down to, you know, we wanted to go to trial. It was it was between the police, you know, um, resisting arrest and all kind of other bullshit. And uh, <laughs> and we were, we had fun on that day. We were a little, we were a little tipsy and we were cursing out the cops. Then we started teaching them <laughs> about Israel and the Illuminati. They were looking at us like we were crazy. We were telling one cop to arrest the rest of the cops. Oh, we're gonna sue. We're gonna you're gonna lose your job. We were bugging out. <clears throat> so they were looking at us like we were crazy. <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Anyway, the sentencing, they said, look, what y'all going to do? He said, we're going to motherfucking trial. We ain't do shit. So it came down to sentencing. It came down to a petty shit. <laughs> they said, seven days community service. He said, fuck you. No, then it went down to like five days. He said, fuck you with two fingers. <laughs> then it went down to like three days. He said, fuck you and kiss my ass. Went down to two two days. Fuck you again. Then it went down to one day. One day at community service. We said, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and you know what they did? They threw the shit out. So we didn't do no time or nothing like that. Because we didn't do shit. We didn't do shit wrong. And we knew if we went to trial, we were going to fuck them cops up. But it wasn't no big, big deal. Wasn't no big deal. But if you if you know you didn't do that shit and they're telling you about trial, you tell you let them know. No, hell no, I ain't, I ain't taking no fucking deal. I didn't do this shit. The motherfuckers that take a plea know that they did it. Hey, look, polite did that shit. Polite, do you hear the testimony of uh, uh, the, the the testimony, whatever of the of the daughters? Mother, she was speaking from the heart, man. That shit was getting to me. That shit was getting to me. She went into detail, man. She said, you put so much drugs in us. You got a, got a drunk button with liquor and then put drugs in the system. Uh, they, they said, you put so much drugs in a system, it's a miracle that she still lived. So you could have killed that a young girl. So you the worst nigga on the planet Earth right about now. And see, let it, let's say they let you out. For some reason, they let you out next week. Niggas is out there waiting for you. They want you. And um, I don't know what's, I don't know if you're going to make it through the night. There's a song. Let me make it through the night. All my troubles and my fright. Let me make it through the night. So you might even not make it through the night, bro. <laughs> the song keep rolling in my head. By A Akon. Acorn, Acon. Lock me up. <laughs> I'm singing it wrong. Go and lock me up. Now here's a Jake. Even though he's talking shit, he a Jake. He ain't nothing but a dark skinned, hermetic looking Jake. From Africa, number to Jake, man. And he said he 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 did that song because he he was caught up in the system. So he, he that song was from him getting caught up in the system, because this guy was a hey this guy was a fucking car thief. I mean, he's, he was like a, a elaborate car thief. You got to listen to the to the uh, interview he did with um uh what do you call it a uh, drink champs. He said he said um him and his brother were stealing cars, but they were selling to dealers and they would they did all kind of intricate shit, bro. And um they were saying, Well, what, what happened? You were poor. He said, Hell no, we wasn't poor, man. We were rich. Our par our parents were fucking rich. We just did that because we had nothing else to do. So you so that's a Jake. Jake, Jake is just like that, man. But he thinks he's um what is what is he? Um I don't know if he's a Ghanaian. Somebody help me out, but he, he ain't nothing but a Negro. He ain't nothing but watch the watch the the um the uh interview with the drink ch champs and he goes into the story, you know. But anyway, let me get back to this. But that song, you know, I'm thinking of that song all day. Lock me up. They're gonna lock me up. Then I'm thinking of also thinking of the song, let me make it, 
through the night. And everybody talking about Sarnetta boy. Everybody and their mom is talking about Sarnetta. That's that's the that that's trending. I'm not not Sarnetta, um polite. Brother Polite is trending today. His his name is ringing throughout the heavens. And most Jakes hate that motherfucker. So anyway, I was watching it with Sarnetta and uh he had different guests on. And um there was a lot of them that that, that said that uh, nah man, he set him up. How the fuck can they set him up when he said he did it? You ain't never been in the court system, man. Okay? You can say, no, I'm going to trial. And that shit, you can drag that shit out too. He just didn't want, want to do, you know, you have 15 years for this count, 15 years for the next count, 15 years for the next count. So they pretty much cut it in half. On good behavior, he might get out in five years. So that's how he's looking at it. Either way, he's fucked. He's in the system right now. I mean, I don't know how much they know, but they should know. They should know this guy. You know, you 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 know, you got niggas in the prison system, but you got relatives outside the prison system talking about polite. I don't know how it is in Florida. I don't know if they can go to the web, watch YouTube, or whatever. Last time I was locked up, they had fucking cable TV. It's like a fucking country club. All of her, I said, man, this shit. <laughs> uh, you get locked up, it's kind of fucking relaxing. You know, you just chill out and get to think about shit. You know? Anyway, uh, he's he's done. And they remanded him to uh the uh you know the the the, the prison system. He went from the court to the pokey. Anyway, let me get back into this. So you can clearly see that this right here, and there, there's all kind of precepts coming in, but Revelation 12, Isaiah 34, Jeremiah 49, Jeremiah 50, Jeremiah 51, um, Joel, Joel 2, Joel, Joel 3, Amos 9, Matthew 24. There's so many, there's so many precepts that come to come to mind. Revelation 6. And you know how many different times the destruction of Babylon is mentioned in the scriptures? Hey, when the Lord said, in the place where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched, he was talking about America. He's talking about Babylon. So anyway, let me come over here and get ready to close. So now these are the these are the countries, right? The United States, Russia, China. Russia has missiles. China has missiles, the long range missiles, ICBMs. France, which is one of the NATO EU nations. India. The United Kingdom, Israel, and what in North Korea? They're having the meetings with sit down with North Korea and Russia, not South Korea. We're talking about North Korea, which is a communist part of uh, Korea. Are the only countries known to have operational ICBMs? Why? Because all these missiles are going to be shot. Which country has has longest missile range or the longest missile range? Russia. R-36M, SS-18, Satan. Satan, if Satan be divided against Satan. So they actually got a missile called Satan. Missile, uh, missile is the world's, I'm sorry, longest, longest, longest range and the heaviest in the world with a weight of 8.8, almost 9 tons, which is 18,000 pounds. This is what John 
on the Isle of Patmos saw when he saw, I saw them as they looked, uh, what do you say? They were as the weight of a talent. A talent is only about 100 pounds. What he saw was missiles with a, a strike range of 16,000 kilometers, which I would say, I mean, I can do the calculation uh, in miles. I would say, uh, let's say half of that, 8,000. I know from middle Russia to middle America, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, you know, 5,000 miles. So the missiles can go, has enough range to go, go from Russia, the middle of Russia to America. And another thing, you got the west coast of uh, Babylon, you got the east coast of Babylon. You got the west coast of Russia, you got the east coast of Russia, you, which is eastern Russia. So they can shoot from either the west or the, they can shoot in two directions that come at America at different directions. Missiles coming from the east and missiles coming from the west. Same thing goes with China. Well, China, the missiles are going to go from the east to the west. So let me move on. Which country has most powerful missile? The Soviet Union. Satan 1. RS-28. Surmet. Satan 2. I said Satan 1. I meant, I meant Satan 2. If Satan be divided against Satan, how can Satan stand? It's a collection of space launches an intercontinental uh, meet, meter meter stick missiles created by the Soviet Union during the Cold War. One of the most hazardous missiles in the world which can carry three warheads and then there's multiple heads in the warheads. Multiple warheads. And was the first Soviet um, MIRV multiple independently targeted re-entry vehicle, multiple independently targeted re-entry vehicle, meaning the missiles just go all over the place. Wow. Wow. What countries can hit U.S. with missiles? China and Russia. Now, these European countries have to have the range to hit them, too, because that would fulfill the, the prophecy of uh, Revelation 17 and uh, Psalm from the 12, verse on down. China and Russia are the only two states that are not U.S. allies that have a proven capacity to launch ballistic missiles from their territories that can strike the continental United States. Which country, which country has advanced missiles? If they advance missiles, they got to... All right, it says intercontinental and or submarine uh, launch of uh, ballistic missiles of uh, 5 point uh 5 5 point 500 or 5 500 and 5500 kilom kilometers uh intermediate range ballistic missiles 3000 to 5500 kilometers it says China, France, Russia, the UK, United States, possibly North Korea. Uh, Tai Po Tong Dong 2, or Tai Po Dong, which is uh, ICBM, designed to go from one continent to the other.
can Russia, Russian missiles reach the U.S.? Intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, and Russia, Russia's possession have the cap capability to reach and destroy major global cities such as London or Washington. But the whole land is going to be destroyed. Can Indian missiles reach U.S.? It says estimate the country's maximum missile range went from uh, 745 miles in 1992, more than 8,000 miles now. That's talking about India. That's enough to strike about half of the world, including the United States mainland. How long would it take for a missile to hit the U.S.? Now, I didn't say nothing about the U.S. or Russia. I just said countries with long-range missiles. They give me all this stuff. All the focus is on the U.S. This, this alert posture is dangerous, maintaining. We're living in a dangerous world. This ain't no peaceful world. Inside joke. The option of launching weapons on warning of an attack leads to rush decision rush decision making it it would take a land based missile about 30 minutes to fly between russia and the united states where the fuck you going to go the other other reports say 25 where the fuck you going to go in 30 minutes a submarine based missile could strike in a little as little as 10 to 15 minutes after launch now you have russian uh, uh, subs that uh, have possessed missiles that are in South America, the area of Cuba, Venezuela. Remember in 62, you had the, the Russian missile crisis, and that was almost World War III. Can the U.S. block missiles? It can't block a uh, hypersonic missile. Three uh, shorter range tactical anti-ballistic missile systems are currently operational. The U.S. Arm Army Patriot, U.S. Navy uh, Aegis uh, combat system, SM-2 uh, uh, missile, and the Israeli arrow missile. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Sometimes you come across the word arrow in the scriptures, and it's talking about a missile. In general, uh, short-range tactical ABMs cannot intercept. Ooh. What does it say in uh, uh, Nahum 3? I'll go to that in a minute. It says these particular, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Shields, let's say, cannot intercept ICBMs even if within range. Arrow 3 can intercept ICBMs. Yeah, read read, uh, read uh, 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 Nahum, the third chapter. I'm not going to go all into it. Somebody can go to the right verse. I'm not going to go to it. Can China hit U.S.? Why does it keep saying, can this hit the U.S.? Can that hit the Won't they say, can the U.S. hit They, I don't know. This is spirit. It's a spiritual thing. Let's look it up. China's newest hypersonic, which cannot be detected by radar, hypersonic missile, the DF-27, can fly as far as Hawaii, penetrate U.S. missile defenses, Nahum 3 and, and, and pose a particular threat to U.S. aircraft 
carriers, according to news reports of an assessment from the Pentagon. This was as of May of 2024, a couple months ago, 2023. The year of all prophecies coming to pass. And all, mostly all the prophecies came to pass. There's only three left. And one of them, one of them is the Karakman. When that prophecy comes to pass, things are going to be out of here quick. So we could be out of here in a, sometime in 2024. Which country is missile proof? United States, Russia, India, France, Israel, Italy, United Kingdom, China, and Iran have all developed missile defense system. But, they, but, they, but Babylon's defense system is not going to work. Read, read Nahum 3. Wow. Wow. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.